So how is this year's Electrify Expo in New York? That's coming right up. Hey guys, it's Rick from Run Playback. In this video, we're gonna dive into some coverage of the 2023 Electrify Expo in New York. Electrify is the largest EV festival in North America with massive exhibit space. We'll talk with vendors and influencers who are doing some really innovative things in the industry. So if you're ready to catch up on all things EV, keep it locked on Run Playback. My name is Taiho, so I just came down here for the expo. This is my newly purchased bike, the uh, Tolaria XXX. Riding this bike on a stop, it's awesome. I was able to hit 54 miles an hour on this bike on a sport. I have a Suron too, but as far as the suspension, you can't compare this on a Suron. So, Suron is the best out there as far as the suspension. This bike actually is designed to ride on the street. I'm thinking about upgrading the tires on this one. I guess with the knobby tires, maybe like a Shinko. When I got this bike, the belt was loose. Most people that got this bike need to pay attention to make sure that that belt is tight. It's got a low beam and it's also got a high beam. It's got, you know, a working brake light. I prefer this one because if I sit on it, my feet is on the ground. It's flat on the ground and I prefer that compared to the Suron. It's good for, you know, short riders. All right, turn it on. Power. The power button. Lights up, make sure it lights up. Lights up. Scan. Scan the key. Hit the start button. Very smooth. I like the um, I like the height of it. It's definitely lower to the ground, lower center of gravity, so my feet touch the ground. Uh, I can't really like go all out here, but definitely we got a lot of torque. It feels a little different. I mean, obviously you have more room to kind of sit on the bike, so you can really find the right position. Very maneuverable. Hard to tell. I can't really like rip it out here, but it is good. Smooth suspension. Yeah, first impressions for the price, not bad. My name is Nico. My account is Alternate Volts. I'm a repair and install for the Suron Light B and Ultra B and other electric motorcycles. I have right here the Suron Ultra B. So right here in the front, we have a couple of upgrades. We have the CRF 450 front fender, the stock fender that goes on the Ultra B. It actually comes up to right here, so it doesn't go all the way over the tire. So when the water comes up, it, um, it keeps coming up over the fender. So I got a bigger fender for that. I got the 21 inch um, front wheel with a 3.0244 in the front. EBMX uh, handlebars, 2.86, the ones that fit directly to the bike, and then I have have, it's kind of hard to see here, but I have little risers here, so it's a, just a little bit taller, about you know about a half inch to make it you know three inch rise. And in the front here, we have the X9000 controller. This is actually one of the first upgrades that I put on this bike, so that I could push more power, 17 kilowatts, 800 phase amps on top power, and I'm able to change things like the throttle curve and the throttle input and the regen. And there's three types of regen. There's the, the coasting regen, there's the throttle regen, and then there's the, the brake regen. So right now I have pretty much all the regen off except for the, the thumb throttle here. And if you want, with this controller, you can actually change this to a regular throttle and put it on where the throttle side is over here. And then this is the egg rider here that you use. Right now the battery is not inside the bike, so the bike is not on, but the battery that's in here is the upgraded battery. So this is how it looks on the inside. So I actually have a Qi charger that I put in here and I had to shave down these sides over here so that the Qi charger can fit. And the guys over at Power Lithium, they actually helped me out and made a custom connector so that I can actually charge the new 72 volt battery because the stock battery is a 74 volt battery and not a 72 volt. So I wasn't able to use the stock charger that, come, that comes with the bike. I would say it's pretty much just a bigger version of the, the light beam. It's more robust and the, and the most thing I'm happy about is, is the brakes because these are now um, specifically pit bike level brakes so the, this can handle a lot a lot much more heat and a lot much more um, power so I, I learned um, to, to wheelie 
on on a Suron Lightby about about a year ago, and it kind of worked me up for this bike. If I if I didn't get on the Lightby, it, it would probably be harder to learn on this bike because it's it's much bigger. But um yeah, I you know I wheelie this thing. I take it on dirt jumps. I take it on trails, gravel trails. I cruise around with it. It's, it's my daily. It's my it's my workhorse. You know I, I go to customers sometimes, and you know I'll, I'll go all the way to Manhattan, you know the Bronx, and I'll go repair their bike or you know install something new. It's definitely more of a motorcycle. It's not like the Light B when it came when it comes to the fork or the suspension. It's, it's it's a lot more robust. It can handle the highway, and especially after putting the controller and the battery in, it could go at least you know 68 exits on the highway, you know without getting getting the motor hot. My name is DJ Sounds. I build a lot of electric e-bikes. I got something special for you guys. Got an RZ that I modify. I ride this bike on the highway because I love to ride a highway. It goes over 100. I haven't did a top speed test, but I will soon. It's a modified RZ, 96 volt, 75 amp hour that was built by Power Lithium, which I know you're familiar with those guys. I have a 12,000 watt hub motor in the back, 180 millimeter motorcycle tire on the back. Right now it's pushing about 2,700 watts, which is minimum. I top I went was about 120 and the throttle wasn't at full and the controller, which is a far driver, 96 uh, volt controller, wasn't even turned up. So I could still turn it up, wasn't on full throttle and it still has potential. So I'm pretty sure this bike could probably do probably like 160, 170 easy. Cause I also have a Cinron. I now just use it for wheelies because I try to take it on the highway, which it does, it does about, but the problem is the wind, it blows the bike too much and I'm a little nervous with that. So instead of me adding power, I wanted something with more weight. And that's why I came up with the RZ. So the biggest thing you're gonna notice is down here by the pedals because there's no clutch. So basically your rear brake is up here. So this is your rear brake. This is your front brake up here. I just let a gentleman ride the bike just now and he was trying to shift because he's used to riding sport bikes but realized that, you know, it's electric. So it's a little hard to break into, but once you keep riding it, you'll get used to it really, really, really fast. So if you drive a regular car and you drive a Tesla, it's pretty much the same thing. You step on it, the car just goes, instant torque, that's how this is. So basically there's three modes you can see here. You got mode one and we have mode two and mode three. Mode three, I rarely use. Mode one, I can get up to 60 miles per hour. Mode two, probably 90. And then mode three is um, to be determined. My gas bike, I had to change the oil, the, um, the spark plug and the air filter. The difference with this is you're pretty much just doing brake pads and that's, that's pretty much it. There's no really maintenance with this thing. My sport bikes, I used to have over loud mufflers. For me switching over to this, which I do have, is it's an air horn. If you don't know what an air horn is, it's a compressor that pushes the air out and it's very loud. So what I do, if I'm riding next to somebody and I feel they don't see me or they don't know I'm there, I hit the air horn beep beep and then I'll see them like move over and that's pretty much it. So I feel very safe on it. You know, I've been riding it for a long time and it's, uh, it's very safe. As long as you put an air horn or some type of loud horn that they know you're there. And I have LED lights going around this whole thing. So at night it's super bright. So you definitely can see at night. If you have one of these bikes that's stock, we can upgrade the motor, the battery, and the controller. Or if you want, you could get a brand new one from us and we can already modify it and just show you the whole bike. The reason why I'm telling you that because a lot of these bikes don't come with papers. This bike is registered and insured. So a lot of these bikes are not coming with the correct paperwork. And then you go to DMV, if you want to insure it, you want to put plates on, you can't do it. So I'll make sure when we get all the bikes, we make sure the paperwork is you know up to par and that way we can get you situated. So that's our coverage of this year's Electrify Expo in New York. From e-bikes to e-motos and everything in between. Let's carry the momentum forward and make conscious choices that drive positive change. If you want to dive into more EV tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.